Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how we find unique values out of our random data and then we present them on a combo box which is either from a form control or from ActiveX control. So we'll see how to create these uh, dynamic form controls using data that we have. And you can see here there are a lot of duplicate values in my data. Right. So first of all, let us see how we created this data set. I started with few names. I have written down few names here and then I created a random data set and this random data set is coming. It is getting refreshed every time I click on calculate sheet. Right. So let us see first of all how I created this data set and then on this data set I found unique values in VBA itself, not through data and then unique uh, through remove duplicates, but I wrote a function to find the duplicate values or unique values. And then I associated those values with this form control and this ActiveX control. All right, let's start from the beginning. We have this name, uh, these names, and let's write a function to get some random duplicated values. So for that, I will use rand between function and I need random values uh, starting from two to nine. So two comma nine, it would give me one row number. Uh, and if I want to have this value, so I can use index and out of this range, I just need value at that row number. Okay, and I can freeze it and close the bracket. So this way I would be able to get a random value and I can drag down for any number of records. So every time I refresh, I will be getting a new value like this. Okay, so now this is my input data set. I want to find unique values out of this range. Okay, so let's say I would write down or I print all those unique values here in this range. So I go to VBA part, right? I have created a sub procedure here, unique values. So dim ARR as collection. Okay. So I'm creating a new array from collections and dim. We also need a range. So range array as let's say we first created uh, we first created as a variant rather than creating it as a range data type okay so now define the range so range is actually values from column c so it is range and it's an array so that's why we need to include these brackets here and the values are coming from c1 to c20 let's say okay now we need to find unique values from this range so what we can do is we can iterate through all the values of this range so for each a in range next okay and a is nothing but uh, we, we just declare it so what we can do is we can add all those new elements in the array that we have initialized here and we just need duplicate uh, unique values so that's why array dot add a but only the keys the unique keys okay so this is how we are going to add unique values but it is going to give me error so uh, for for few data types for few data for example if i try to run it you will see range is blank here and initially a is empty so for the first value a is uh, random duplicates because I have started from C1. So that's one error that I've done. So I put C2 here So run again. So now first value is current. So a This value is getting added in this array it added successfully second value again is current It gives me error that key already exists Associated with the element in this collection. So it won't allow me to add duplicates So what we can do is to avoid this error. I can say on error Simply just skip that statement and resume to next statement. Okay, on error, resume next. So now we'll see that first time when that value comes, it adds in that array. Second time when it comes, it simply moves to the next statement. It does not add it and so on and so forth. It will keep on doing like this. Now let us see what is the final array that we have created. Let's print that on console. 
so to print all the elements of the array that was created here what we can do is for i equals 1 to array count next and then here we can print on console by using debug dot print the value of ai array at index i right so let us run it now we get all the unique values from that range okay so this is how we are getting unique values now what we need to do is instead of printing on console we need to e rather print in this column e so column e is fifth column and we need to start from second row so that's why what i can write here is i can write sheet 2 dot cells i said row number starts with 2 so but i value the value of i initially is 1 so i say i plus 1 comma column is 5 this value is equal to array index at i uh, array value at index i right so we run it and we get all the unique values and also it is important to clear this range before we put the values so range e2 till let's say e100 dot clear contents all right so every time we are going to have a new set of values here now one more thing we can do is every time i refresh or perform a calculate uh, operation on sheet uh, it is updating this list but it, but it is not updating the unique values here in this column so i can add a event here on this sheet too and what that event would be that event would be worksheet calculate event it's not sheet change event but it's calculate event so we can delete this sheet change which get added by default and we say that every time you try to uh, whenever there is an event triggered for sheet calculate just call this sub procedure right so it will refresh that and also we need to say one more thing here that when it is updating those values at that time it would also again try to calculate automatically so we can say that application dot enable events enable events equals false for that time and once we are done it should again re-enable events right so let us see what we have done when we perform calculate operation it is getting random values from this list and then it is updating the unique values from that data set so you see that sometimes we are getting uh, seven values sometimes we are getting eight and there is a possibility that we get only one value if, uh, by chance all these values are same okay so now we can add a form control from here like this and we can link this form control with our values to link what we can do is we can click on this design mode and we can right click on it and then go to properties input range we can say it is this range and cell link is let's say this cell link is basically whatever we select that value would be printed here in this cell and input range is what values you want to see on the drop down so these values are coming as a drop down with one blank value and if you select one of these value that index would come here All right so we have added one type of list here other type is activex control you can add it from here combo box activex control and you can add like this and this has different properties it is not having same set of properties and this pro uh, these properties we can update from VBA also. What we need to do is we need to first check the name of combo box. It is combo box one, and the property we need to update. That property is list fill range. All right. So we go to VBA, and when it is updating the values here, what we can do is we can say that at that time try to update the list. All right. So sheet we are already on sheet 2 so we can say combo box 1 dot list fill range equals 
now we need to put the range here so that range is from e2 till e8 in this case but this may vary so we need to find a last available or you can say the last row which is having data in this column so for that we will evaluate lr equal to lr stands for last row let's say it is uh, cells rows dot count i go to the last row of column 5 comma 5 dot end excel up dot row if you are not clear with how we performed this operation you can watch the tutorial from the link above and see how we perform these operations all right so we can say here it is starting from e2 till e lr okay so we have dynamically updated that list here now when i perform refresh operation so you can see here the values are populated every time i perform click uh, calculate sheet that list would be updated see here the first value is vishal if i again calculate the sec uh, this time the first value is kamal and every time it will show in this order so refreshed value and it does not show any blank also so this is how we create dynamic lists in excel if you have any questions feel free to write to me in the comment section and do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you